Hey guys, in this section, we'll talk about solving inequalities in two variables. So last section, we talked about how to solve inequalities in just one variable. We had things like x is less than 5, x is greater than 5. So we got an introduction to what an inequality is in the previous section. Here, we're going to extend that idea to two variables. So solving inequalities in two variables instead of one. Uh, similar ideas, but very, very, very different implementations. So it's going to look drastically different from what we were doing in the last section, even though it's talking about inequalities. So less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Those are the, the key points that we're going to be looking at. Uh, before we get there, we need to get a very clear understanding of what it means for something to be a solution. So hopefully you remember from like the beginning of the course, an equation had a solution when the point satisfied the equation. What I mean by that is, let's say we're looking at these two equa uh, this equation, y equals 2x plus 3. So if we start with y equals 2x plus 3, if I wanted to see if 2 comma 3 is a solution, I would plug in 2 for x and 3 for y. So let's see what happens if we do that. 3 goes there, 2 times 2 plus 3. 3 equals 4 plus 3. And then we get 3 equals 7. So then we ask ourselves, when we plug in the coordinates 2 and 3 in for x and y, respectively, do we get a true statement? So do we get something that makes sense? And in this case, we're getting 3 equals 7. So this, hopefully, you recognize is obviously a false statement. So we would say, no, this point is not on that line. It is not a solution to that equation because it doesn't yield something true when we plug it in. Similarly, we can do the same thing with 1 comma 5. So 5 equals 2 times 1 plus 3. Again, I'm plugging it into the equation y equals 2x plus 3. I get 5 equals 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3. 5 equals 5. And that is indeed a true statement. So that means that 1 comma 5 is a solution. So I'll put yes underneath it. To the equation y equals 2x plus 3. Let's try the third point, 3 comma 9. So 9 equals 2 times 3 plus 3. 9 equals 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3. 9 equals 6 plus 3, which is 9. And 9 does indeed equal 9. Hopefully everyone agrees with that. So that is also a true statement. So when I plug in 3 comma 9 into my equation, y equals 2x plus 3, I get a true statement. So this is also a solution to the equation it is a point on the line. That's what it means geometrically. And then negative 1 comma 10. 10 equals 2 times negative 1 plus 3. 10 would equal negative 2 plus 3. And then this is obviously going to be false because negative 2 plus 3 is just 1. So, oops, that's false. So we would say that this is not a solution to that equation. Uh, the other two I'm not going to do numerically, but I'm going to show you a graph. So here's where all the points that we were going to plug in are already plotted. So negative 2, negative 4, 0, 0, 2, 3, 1, 5, 3, 9, and negative 1, 10. Now what I'm going to do is turn on the graph of y equals 2x plus 3. That's the equation. And when we do you're going to see that it passes through 1 comma 5 and 3 comma 9. And if we go back to my, my screen here, uh, you'll see that those are the exact two points that we said, oh yeah, they're, they're solutions to that equation. And if you notice the other two points, 2 comma 3 and negative 1 comma 9, or negative 1 comma 10 rather, and 0, 0 and negative 2, 4, if we look at the picture, those four points are not on the line. So even though we didn't plug in the last two points, 0, 0, and negative 2, 4, we can look at it and say, hey, 0, 0 is not on the line, so it will not be a solution. Negative 2, negative 4 is off of the line, so it will not be a solution to this equation. So hopefully that makes sense. A line is basically just an infinite collection of the solutions. So if you draw all the solutions going up the line and connect them, you're going to get a line. That's literally what a line is. It's just all the solutions to an equation joined together on a picture or on a graph. Now, this is very different from when we start looking at inequalities in two variables, not equations, but inequalities. So I'm going to get rid of this, and then we're going to do the same test 
with um, the inequality that we're given, which is y is greater than 2x plus 3. So, oops, we're going to start with y is greater than 2x plus 3. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to plug these uh, points in to determine if there are solutions, if we get a true statement at the end. So 3 is greater than 2 times 2 plus 3. 3 is greater than 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3. 3 is greater than 7. Now, think back to grade school. Is 3 greater than 7? No. So this is a false statement. This means that this point is not a solution to the inequality. Now we're talking about y is greater than 2x plus 3. If we plug in 1 comma 5, we get 5 is greater than 1, or 2 times 1, plus 3. So again, I'm taking this point and I'm plugging it into that inequality. So 5 is greater than 2 times 1, well that's just 2 plus 3. 5 is greater than 5. And if we think about this, this is actually a false statement. 5 is not more than 5. 5 is not greater than 5. If you have $5 and I have $5, you don't have more money than I do. We both have the same amount of money. So this is actually a false statement as well. So this would not be a solution to the inequality, even though it was a solution to the equality or to the equation. Let's try the third one. So this one's a no. Uh, 9 is greater than 2 times 3 plus 3. 9 is greater than 6 plus 3. 9 is greater than 9. And that, again, is a false statement. Because, well, 9 is equal to 9. It is not greater than 9. So this is not a solution to the inequality. And for the sake of argument, I'm actually going to do the last 3 for this so that you see the difference. 10 is greater than 2 times negative 1 plus 3. 10 is greater than 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus the 3. We get 10 is greater than 1. Even though negative 1 comma 10 was not a solution to the equation, it is a solution to the inequality. It is a solution to this thing because it's yielding a true statement at the end. So this is a true statement. 10 is greater than 1. If you have $10 and I have $1, you have more money than I do. So this is a solution to the inequality, even though it is not a solution to the equation. Uh, let's try 0, 0. 0 is greater than 2 times 0. Oops. Plus 3. 0 is greater than 2 times 0 is just 0. Plus 3. 0 is greater than 3. And that's obviously false. If I have no money, I, I don't have more money than you if you have $3. So this is false. And this point is not a solution to the inequality y is greater than 2x plus 3. And then let's do the last one just for completeness. Uh, we have negative 4 is greater than 2 times negative 2 plus 3. So negative 4 is greater than... <coughs> 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 3, and we get negative 4 is greater than negative 1. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. That's false again. Negative 4 is less than negative 1. It is not greater than negative 1. So this is not a solution because we get a false statement again when we plug that point in into that inequality. So according to this, there should only be one point that is part of the solution. Now notice I said part of the solution. You're gonna see in a moment what I mean by that. And all these other points that you have are not part of the solution. So if you look back at, oops, I'm not able to change my screen. I guess I'll be back in the next video.